have realized that mess has just consumed my life. And it wasn't until I realized that I couldn't breathe in my own home that I started filming myself cleaning time lapse because I wanted to see the satisfaction of my hard work. Um, I, we as a family have gone through a very traumatic two years. It has nothing to do with the pandemic whatsoever. Just, um, I love you. I love you. Just actual real life. So in filming these time-lapse videos, um, I decided that I want to do a whole series of me taking back my house, taking back my life, and taking control of the mess that has been consuming me. Um, part of it was... I think actual depression and then there was a small majority of it that was most likely postpartum depression um, I've never been diagnosed with either but um, anyway this mess has consumed my life it's taken over my life and I started cleaning after I was done cleaning and I watched back what the room looked like in the beginning I was shocked that we had been living like that and it really put in perspective for me it was a hoarder type situation it wasn't just a mess and my brain had been so overwhelmed with the mess that I had looked over it for years and just pushed things to the side pushed things to the side I mean our daughter's bedroom had a path to walk into because it was so full of stuff and the rest of the house is that way also. This is gonna be a series where I find myself through getting rid of the mess and I make my house healthy for not only myself, but my family and my children. This is real and this is raw and vulnerable and it's very hard for me to share because it is disgusting and it is embarrassing. Um, and I am choosing to share that and I might get some backlash but this is real life and this is me fixing the mess that I have let marinate in my home and I'm excited of where I'm gonna be or who I'm gonna be once the mess is gone so come along with me and if you're in a similar type situation Purge with me, declutter with me, take control of the mess with me. Okay, let's go. This is one of the rooms that I am tackling today. It is so overwhelmingly messy. We, or I actually, started taking all the carpet out of the upstairs because our elder dog, she's nine. She um, kind of lost control of her bladder and I didn't realize until it started to smell, but in the middle of the night, she had been going in back spaces where, you know, we don't walk every day. I couldn't tell that it was wet and she had been peeing. So, um, it, once summer came last year, <clears throat> it started to smell really bad in this room. So I ripped up all the carpet, um, that was a while ago, and then I got a replacement carpet to put in here and I tried my best to keep her downstairs, but the kids had let her come up a couple times and she had peed on the new carpet. As you can see, I have cut out the sections. This time at least she had peed where I walked, so I saw it right away, cut it out while it was wet and the underfloor, um, didn't get wet from him but she peed all where we walk 
So it, the carpet used to go all the way up to the baby's mat, um, but I had since cut everything out. Okay, so you might notice that I'm in a different outfit. The previous video I filmed, um, I didn't realize that we actually had a birthday party to go to. So we ended up going to the birthday party. It's the next weekend and I finally have time to clean this room again. So I'm going to go crazy. I just want to add, this is not going to be easy. Um, this is really hard. So, let's get to it. Yeah, let's do it, baby. I just wanted to give a quick update that I got everything cleaned up. I got the dresser slid into the room from the hallway, but it's been a couple days and the kids have been in here and messed stuff up again. So I'm going to have to re-clean just to kind of get back the overall cleanliness of the room. They kind of made a mess with what I cleaned.
Okay, so now that the trash and the clutter is gone, now it's time to organize. And this I'm excited for.